I mean, y'all may not realize it, but I just found my camera. Welcome back to my channel, Sugar Nurse Gems, and I'm back with another video. If you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. So today is a Thursday, and I am on my way to clinical. Today is um a sep August, September. <laughs> today is September the 30th, and um it is five o'clock, five o eight um. In the after in the evening. Yeah, so tomorrow is gonna be October first, and my birthday is October twenty second. So I don't know. I kind of decided that maybe I'll do like a daily vlog. I don't know. Probably I'll just post twice a week. I don't know, but I don't know. But I, I, I'll find out something to do. And I'm going to clinical. I am going to be in the. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what the heck. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I hope I ain't forgetting them because I ain't got time to be turned back home from clinical. Anyway, so um, I'm going to the hospital today. I will be um, in the labor and delivery um, department. And thank God I don't have to do a freaking care plan like any nursing diagnosis. I just have to do like a S bar and my nursing notes, which is easy. And I'm so happy. So, woo, Lord. I went to work last night. So, your girl is tired. I woke up at 3 o'clock. No, not three. What am I talking about? I woke up at two o'clock today, and then I had to go pick up my daughter at three o'clock. So I had to wash my clothes. I had to eat. I had to wake up. So I didn't really read anything today. I mean, I read at work, but I didn't read anything. So I didn't do anything. I got home from work, went to sleep, woke up, got myself together. And now I'm on my way to clinical. But anyway, I did bring my book for me to read um, during lunch. I'm reading during lunch. I don't care what nobody's saying. So since tomorrow is going to be October and I will be at clinical today, I decided to do like, come with me to clinical. Come with me to my uh, my clinical round. Day in the life of me in clinical. I don't know, something like that. I'm going to bring out a clinical with me. I'm probably not going to get like every little bit of detail you know probably me walking da, 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 da. i'll see what i can do don't want them and like oh she's recording us da, 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 da. you know so i'll see um what all i can get oh and just to update um so I, this tuesday i just had my test for med search my first test for med search and i passed y'all i passed my test i don't think it was too hard i guess because i understood the information it was mainly about like trach and cancer and not a lot on blood if it was it was just simple like what would you do for iron like what would you teach a, p a patient for iron the wording was like because i don't even like reading so as i was reading the question when i tell you it was like probably it was one question or a couple of questions that was like three sentences long i was like i can't read all this so it was some questions that i even knew that i didn't even read the question I didn't even read the question. I was like skipping through the sentence and was like kind of summarizing what I thought the question was asking me. I shouldn't have done that, but it is what it is. It was just too many freaking long questions. Like, I don't know, but I passed it. And then um, my PD um, test, I passed that one. I think the med search test was easier than the PD test. PD test was like baby you had to really read you you had to read med surge you you had to read to get a, um an understanding i guess but you could have really did videos like youtube videos and that's what i did because reading that book i did not understand i had to i had to read i mean i had to watch um youtube videos like simple nursing i had to watch um his videos and then i went back to the book and was like oh that's what they meant by that but tell you the truth pd was harder than med search for me but yeah i passed those two tests thank god so um i'm kind of like you know I, I i i know what my like what i need to do you know going forward for my next test so like what i did was i read one week and then i studied like i read the chapters for one week and then 
the following week which was the week before the test i like i reviewed what i read like i review what i highlighted because what i read i cannot freaking remember what i read so i go back and i i go back and read what i highlighted and then i like kind of summarize what i highlighted and my uh, understanding the way i understand what it means and it worked i didn't do no flashcards and it's crazy i'm like the queen of freaking flashcards and i didn't even do flashcards i'm just gonna summarize what i read and like write it out write out what i would write on a flashcard but i'm not gonna try to memorize you really can't memorize it it's all about like you have to understand it some stuff you have to memorize but you have to still understand it to answer the questions and now i was like okay let me see you know i'm not gonna do no flashcard let me see and baby the flashcard that's <laughs> I need to do the flashcards. As long as I freaking understood, I was straight. I'm gonna continue driving, continue watching the video to see how my clinical day goes. Okay, so I'm on my phone and I am in the bathroom. Um, it is now one something in the morning and I am ready to go home. Okay, so I done made it home. Is let me see. It is 454. Um my goodness. I'm I'm like I'm not tired, but I'm just I don't know. I really don't know what I need to do because I need to drop my kids off. Well, I need to drop my daughter off at school for I mean I need to get her up at seven o'clock and it's about to be five o'clock and there's no point in me taking a, a well there's no point in me going to sleep because I'm gonna just be taking a nap. Wake back up to be able to try to go to sleep and I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep fully. So I may just stay up and finish reading because today is Friday and I was supposed to at least get three chapters. No, two four six, today's third day that I started reading. I'm supposed to get I'm supposed to be done with at least six chapters today and boo. I only finished one chapter and a halfway done with the second. That's two out of the six that I was supposed to have done. And the test is over nine chapters. Anyway, that's beside the point. I know I may just stay up. But yeah, so today well, yeah. So today, um, clinicals, it was alright. I mean, I don't know. It, it it was okay. Um what happened was the first patient that I had um, well, the first nurse that I was with, her patient ended up being COVID. Students cannot, oh my God, my face, you can tell the mess. Anyway, so the students cannot have um, COVID patients. So I was like, um, I'll get a different nurse. Cause I need my paperwork done. I need, you know, I need something. I can't just, you know. So anyway, so I got with a different nurse and um everything was cool but um i don't know i just kind of got a, a certain type of vibe like a i don't know it was a weird vibe with other nurses not the nurse that i had the nurse that i had was perfect but just a different like a weird vibe like i don't know like everybody not everybody but like okay so for one the charge nurse boo when i tell you we was walking in the hallway and you know you make eye contact and then you know how can I say this? Underneath the mask, you cannot see me smiling. But you can see like, like look. Like, you can see my cheek and my eyes squint. That shows a smile. You know, obviously we've been wearing masks this whole time. You can tell a smile from, you can tell a person smiling from a person not smiling. She just looked like, I mean, <laughs> but you know, just picture this the mask. She just, no. No. 
just bag it up. She just. How can I put it? Where my mask at? I don't know, but you get you get the point. She just and just kept, like excuse me. What the fuck? What are I the name you? Then I asked another nurse because first of all, I'm a quiet person. Yes, I do this, but like YouTube and whatever. But like I, I'm a quiet person. I, I get my moments where I want to talk, and then I get my moments where I don't want to talk. But most of my moments, I do not want to talk. So I'm a very quiet person. I sit back and I observe. I just, you know, I, I, I'm to myself. So there's been a thing, you know. I guess somebody in the in the um clinicals, um I don't know, charge nurse or what or nurses, whatnot. I don't know. But in the reporting to our instructors that you know some people just, you know, the the students they're just not engaged. They just don't do this. I don't do that. Okay, so I tried to, you know, open up and ask questions, you know, like just talk. So I won't, you know, it won't, so it won't just fall back on me that, oh, the, um, that nurse wasn't doing anything. That student wasn't doing anything. She was just quiet. She wasn't really engaged. So, you know, I'm trying to prevent any problems, any issues from happening. So I'm asking the nurse. And it wasn't like I'm asking all these multiple questions like, oh, what happened to this? Oh, why this? Oh, well, how come this? Oh, well, why this? I wasn't doing it. Like, that's not even me. Like, if you know me, that's not even me. I'm not about to. Boo. I'm not about to do it. I'm not about to... Hell, you probably get a. I probably won't even speak to you. <laughs> I mean, it, it'll be like you was never even there. That's how quiet I am. So. The fact that I'm asking the nurse question, oh, well, what's going on with this baby? Well, no, what's going on with this mother? Because I was in labor and delivery. The nurse say, one second. I'm standing there, you know, just waiting. And the nurse walks away. And I'm like, then I asked another nurse something. And, and this was not like back to back. It was hours later. I asked another nurse something. And then what did I ask? Oh, I no, yeah, I asked the nurse. I walked by her just to make, you know, conversation. You know, you okay? You, you doing okay? She, yeah. Like, damn. Dude, dude. Then, like, and you can kind of tell. So my instructor came up and she was talking to the other nurses. This, the conversation that they was having, baby, they was nice with the instructor. Just, you know, making conversation. Like, acting like they were in an in the instructor that didn't really know nothing about labor delivery. So basically the instructor was, was basically a student like us. Because the, my instructor was a PD instructor, not labor delivery instructor. They asked all her questions, just, you know, God dang, I asked a question and I get an eye roll, one second, walk away. Like, what the? I don't know. It could be me. It could be because I'm on my period. I I'm not on my period, but I'm about to start my cycle. But I, 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 I don't know what it was. But I, the vibe was felt and I didn't like it. Like, I started to kind of get an attitude and I tried to not get... I, I'm not gonna say I started to try to kind of get an attitude. My facial expression and my mask, I can feel it. Like I'm just like, like this is my mask, right? I'm like, like I, I can feel my eyes, like, like, <laughs> like an irritated blink. I can feel it. I can feel it. Period. I can feel it. And and I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But. I'm home. Let me stop rambling. I'm about to go inside and I'm about to start stuff. So I hope I got enough footage or whatnot. But I don't know. If I did, I hope y'all enjoy. If I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Cause baby, it is Vlogtober.